Hi, my name's Ellie. I'm a fourth year maths and computer science student at University College at Oxford University. In this video, I'll be talking about what an average day might look like for a maths and computer science student and give you an idea of the kinds of things you might get up to as a student at Oxford. As a background, uh, I studied A-levels in maths, further maths, physics and French, as well as an AS in Chinese. I hadn't done a huge amount of computer science before I got here. I'd done a bit of work experience, so I knew I was interested, but I didn't know a huge amount about programming or any specific programming languages very well. So this is what an average day might look like for a math and computer science student in their first or second year. You'd usually start with some lectures in the Maths Institute or in the computer science department. These lectures would go over the key concepts you'd be working on that week and will cover everything you need for the exams at the end of the year. Lecturers are happy to answer questions during lectures and often they'll stick around afterwards to clarify anything you don't understand or even just talk further about it if you're interested. You'd often then head back to college for a tutorial. These tutorials have two or three students in them typically and the tutor would go over the work you handed in on a problem sheet, uh, go over any questions you found difficult or possibly challenge you to understand some new concepts if you did well. Sometimes the tutors ask students to present work and it's a really great opportunity to understand different ways to approach a problem and how other students thought about these issues. Uh, tutor is a really amazing way to challenge your understanding of the topic and to clarify anything you found difficult in the lectures that week. You then might have lunch, uh, so often you might head back to college or for us in the summer term, we usually head out to one of the green spaces around Oxford for a picnic. Oxford's a really beautiful city and there's loads of green parks and gardens that you could visit. Uh, often I like to go for 10, 10, 15 minute walks to clear my head, get my body moving, especially if I've spent all morning in lectures. So I might then do some work on a problem sheet. There's lots of different study spaces you can use around the city, whether these are the old beautiful libraries or newer study spaces, group study rooms uh, or your college might have different facilities. For that kind of thing. Rooms are also a really good play, way to study um, and often rooms have separate studies that you might be able to use. I might then go and play squash with my, one of my friends as my college has squash courts and equipment you can use for free. I'm not the sportiest person in the world but there's lots of things you can get up to either playing football in parks, playing in squash like I said or often I go for runs around the parks and gardens. Uh, but there's also higher performing sports teams, whether that's football or rugby or niche sports like corfball, quidditch even. There's so many things you can get up to. I might then have a practical, so I'd head into department and go to the labs and work on a programming based exercise for a couple of hours. There would be demonstrators going around helping people, fixing any problems you'd come across and challenging your understanding. Uh, these are a really interesting way to get understanding beyond the theoretical stuff you studied in lectures and uh, I think form a really important part of computer science degrees. Uh, I then would probably head back to college and go for dinner in hall. There's loads of different uh, catering options at the university. Most colleges would offer some form of pay-as-you-go food cooked by people in college if you don't want to have to worry about cooking for yourself. There's also loads of different options for self-catering. For example, on the right hand side is my kitchen in second year where I mainly cooked for myself. Um, but this really varies by college, so definitely worth looking at what different colleges offer before you apply. I then would sometimes have a brass band rehearsal. There's loads of different music going on at the university from the professionally conducted orchestras to college choirs to smaller groups, jazz, soul, whatever you can think of. There's loads of different stuff to get involved in. And I really loved playing with the brass band, both socially and as something that's very different to the kind of academic work I've been doing throughout the day. I probably then head back to college and do a bit more private study, um, but often I like to round off the day with going for tea in a friend's room. So there's Lots of different accommodation throughout the university. My college is quite old, so my rooms in first and third year are pretty old and characterful. Um, but some other colleges have newer facilities with, you know, en suites, double beds, whatever you're interested in. Uh, sometimes you live within the main college site, but sometimes you can live in college owned buildings slightly further outside the centre. For example, I lived in 
the house on the bottom left in my fourth year, which is a little bit further away, but had a really beautiful garden. And I actually found the walk into town every day was really good for kind of taking a moment for myself um, and kind of getting out of the hustle and bustle. So whatever you're interested in, there's different accommodation options and you can privately rent often in second, third and fourth year. Uh, so look at whatever college offers um, to try and make that decision for yourself. There's lots of other stuff going on within the computer science department. For example, there's the Women in Computer Science Society, Oxwox. I've been running social events for Oxwox for the last couple of years. And it's a really lovely way to meet women across uh, all years of the undergrad degree, as well as PhD students and academics either just socially for a chat, do some kind of gingerbread decorating, uh, or go to the conferences that are run jointly with the Cambridge Women in Computer Science to see what kind of research women are getting up to across those universities. There's lots of opportunity to work on projects as a maths and computer science student. So in your second year, you'll work on a group project with other students across the department. Uh, the picture on the right hand side is my group for that. Uh, we made a tool which could identify fake news on Twitter. Uh, also, in my fourth year, I worked on an individual project in bioinformatics, looking at how supervised machine learning and genetic algorithms could be used in that context. But I also worked on an interdisciplinary project with students at the law faculty, uh, building a smart contract on the Ethereum blockchain to facilitate the legal resale of tickets. There's a huge number of different projects you can get involved in, and they're really great for challenging both your kind of interpersonal skills as well as your technical skills. If it's what you're interested in, there's also a really vibrant nightlife in Oxford, lots of different clubs that are open all days of the week, but there's never any pressure to get involved in that if that's not what you're into. Another thing which Oxford I think is fairly well known for is balls. So these are big formal events that take over colleges or other buildings in the city. Everyone dresses up and has food, drink, live music, dodgems, anything you can think of. These are a really lovely way to celebrate the end of terms or the end of exams. Uh, but again, there's absolutely no pressure to get involved in that if that's not what you like. Thank you for listening. I hope this has given you an idea of the kinds of things you might get up to as a student here. And I hope you apply. <laughs>